All right, for everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan, and I have a very special guest in my corner today. Would you like to introduce yourself to everybody out there? Hey, guys. I'm Christine Cabanos. And now, obviously, I have to ask you how you mm-hmm. got into the world of voice acting. Um, I actually started out maybe like four years ago on just online. I don't know. A lot of you probably know the, the VAA, the Voice Acting Alliance. Mm-hmm. A lot of people came from there, so I just started doing stuff for fun and for free. And then um, one day I went on, uh, was it Newgrounds? And I put my demo up there, and then somebody contacted me from Australia to do an iPhone app. And that was my first, like, technical paid thing. Oh, that's and cool. Then went, mm-hmm. And then I went to Bang Zoom, the voiceover workshops. And then they invited me over to do a wall session, and then it became incidentals, and then it became roles. So, yeah. And now, incidentals is uh, are are they like background characters? Is that sort of like Walla? Um, a little bit. Walla is more like like it's almost like the big blur of chatter in the back. Incidentals are the ones that you can actually they actually have written lines, and they are characters. So like it'll be like you know schoolgirl, you know two or something like that. So, yeah, they do have lines. Wally usually doesn't if Mick goes on. And now I'm sort of curious, when you first got your chance to get uh, get into the booth, were you nervous? Were you scared? Were you excited? What was going through your head? I think I was more excited than anything. I mean, um, I feel like it's always a mix of both nervous and excited. But, yeah, like, to be able to go into the booth for the first time was, like, a dream come true. And I didn't think that it would happen as soon as it did. So, yeah. Now, obviously, um, Bang Zoom is uh, located in, in California and it has a lot of uh, really cool people there. I'm just curious, could you tell us a, a little bit about, like, the staff in the building? Are they welcoming? Maybe, like, a family? Oh, yeah, no, no. Um, Bang Zoom is, like, a one really huge family. And that's, that, that's how they work, too. And everyone's really friendly with each other. They're really chill. Uh, let's see, who are the engineers right now? Engineers are Ricky Watson and Oscar Garcia, and they're both really awesome. They're good friends of mine. And, um, yeah, production people work so hard. Everyone works really hard there, and it's just a really good place to be. And everyone likes anime. Sounds like a paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of them do. <laughs> and now I'm I'm sort of curious, um, since you're a part of actually a, a pretty big project right now that all the fanboys <laughs> and fangirls are you know, going all crazy over. Could you explain uh, what role you are and what anime I'm talking about, in case nobody's guessed it yet? <laughs> um, I play Azusa Nakano on k So that's really exciting. It's one of my favorite shows, and I'm glad I get to be a part of it. And now how did that role come about? Um, I literally just went in for an audition, and I got it. I don't, there's not much to, more to it than that. It was really fast. And yeah, I yeah I just kept asking if I could audition, and they let me, and I did it. <laughs> so you know, this the series is uh, really popular with anime fans. They like the music, mm-hmm. they like the the Moe Blob characters. So you oh, must be <laughs> really happy to to be a part of it. Mhm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it gets any more Moe than my character, <laughs> the cat ears and the pigtails and the maid outfits. It's kind of yeah. <laughs> is is any of that embarrassing to voice in the booth, or do you just, like, kind of laugh to get it out of your system and just do it? <laughs> oh, no, I love it. <laughs> like, the embarrassing stuff actually really natural, because I do get really nervous in front of people when I'm, like, when I feel awkward, and so that comes out a lot <laughs> in this stuff. But, yeah, she's the best. I couldn't have asked for a better um, first role. And now I'm I'm sort of curious because I know she's the the younger one. Uh, it it mm-hmm. seems like she's she's picked on a little bit more than the others. But I, I is that true? I I haven't seen the show yet myself, <laughs> so you have to correct okay. me if I'm picked, wrong. Picked on? Yeah, like because I I always see her with with like cat ears, and she's always like <laughs> trying to be all serious business. And they're like, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um... The recording engineer for the show, um, Ricky, he, like, would tell me that he hated my character in Volume 2 because I'm such, like, a stick in the mud. And, um, yeah, like, a lot of the girls 
think she, they just think she's really cute, so they like to put costumes and hug her and stuff like that. She she doesn't want any of that. She warms up a little bit towards the end, and she gives into the love and everything. So she gets better. And now, in terms of uh, music, do you guys get to sing any portions of it? I know at conventions, uh, a few of you guys have gone there and, and sang versions of the songs. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the K on band, the like the promotional band. It's right now. It's consisting of um, four of the voice actresses for Ritsu, Mugi, Mio, and um, Yui. Mm-hmm. But um, and then there's Carrie who plays Azusa. I'm not technically a part of the band. I hope to be one day. Hopefully they'll let me. But yeah, and on the DVDs they've recorded uh, English versions of the songs with Christina and um, Stephanie who play Yui and Mio. So that's really exciting. Do you have a favorite k song that you've heard? <laughs> uh, I think I like Watashi no Koi wa Hochiki and um, Fla Fla Time. <laughs> Everyone knows that one, usually. I'm trying to think what the what the Watashi wa, uh, that one <laughs> translates to. Is that the stapler uh, kiss one, I think? Yeah, yeah. It translates to my love is a stapler. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> I love the words in the songs because they make no sense, and it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I, whenever I mean, they make I, sense, but it's like really corny and cute. Whenever I see the title of that song, I think to myself that that guy who's missing his stapler from that movie. Is missing his stapler. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm referring to? The guy with the, like the glasses, and he's a geek, and he's like, "You, you, you have my stapler." <laughs> I don't actually know what you're talking about, but that sounds interesting. It, it's, it's, oh gosh, it's, I'm, I'm getting a little bit off talk, uh, top, uh, top ick, but it's this funny movie with like Jennifer Aniston and I, I can't remember the guy in it. It's an older movie oh. and they, it's, I think it's Office Space and they, and they like hate oh. their office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually watched that, but I heard it's really good and I think, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, it's hilarious. I tease my listeners on Monday sometimes, and I'm like, do you guys have a case of the Mondays? (laughs) I have to go watch it now. (laughs) You're welcome. I've given you something to do. Yeah, thank you. (laughs) And now, have you gotten to uh, see the fan reaction to K-On! or or your character specifically? Um, Yeah, I was recently at Anime Expo, and they had me sign autographs with the whole cast, and it was like the first time that all all of the girls were together signing autographs so that was really exciting and a couple people came up and they gave me gifts they gave me like little cards with my character on it and they or they would have me sign their their volume two um dvds that's the one that i appear in so uh a lot of people hadn't heard me yet when it came out so they were just kind of excited and sometimes they'd have me do the little like the famous little neon Thing, the, the meowing that she does. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was really fun. Yeah, the fans are great. I love I love all of them. The next one you I should go to, dedicated they are. you should wear cat ears, and then you'll be all set. <laughs> I know. There was one guy who was like, he just kept asking me why I don't have cat ears, and I just kept trying to tell him I didn't have time to go buy them yet, but he like wouldn't leave it alone. <laughs> this is kind of, yeah, I, I have cat ears now, so next time I go to a convention, I'll wear them. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of fans will look out for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any uh, conventions that you have uh, coming up that you can tell the listeners about or still in the planning um, stages? Yeah, it's still planning. I don't have any um, coming up, but hopefully there will be some soon, I was told. So, yeah. Ooh, very nice. I, I love the convention circuit. I love traveling. And it's it's kind of like going to Disneyland. It's, it's the same adrenaline rush for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I love Disneyland, too. But, <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, I haven't been to too many cons outside of uh, AX. I've been going to AX since I was in like, sixth grade. And the only con I've gone outside of that was in um, was Nandes Con in Denver with Christina, and we had a panel. But that was the only time. So I'm hoping that I'll get to travel around more and see more of the cons outside around the U.S. Well, definitely as more people see your character and as, as you grow as a voice actress, you'll definitely attract the convention people you just you just have to wave signs in their faces yeah i'll I'll make sure to make some (laughs) 
And now I'm I'm curious for the fans out there who want to essentially stalk you in a nice way. Okay. Is there any place on the internet where they can, you know, follow you on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that? Yeah. Um I have a Facebook, Christine Marie Cabanos. You can just look that up, it should come up. And then I have a Twitter but I don't really know how to use it yet. <laughs> So you can follow me, but I'm still figuring out how to post stuff. It's Christine M C V A, no spaces. I always think Twitter is easier. <laughs> and no, it's so confusing. It's like I don't understand. It feels like just like a bunch of comments to nothing. Like I don't know what it's referring, what different comments are referring to. I feel like like you can tag stuff. But I don't understand yet. I had to have, I'm gonna have Christina explain because she knows how. She's she's um tagged me in her Twitter. Um, feeds before. Oh, a, a reply. So, like, an, an at, uh, at. Yeah, like, at, like, I didn't understand what that was. I guess, is that like when you. Like, it's like, it's to, like a response or including somebody. So, if I say, like, uh, 91.8 The Fan has your Twitter name on, it would be at your Twitter name, and that way it would alert you that we're posting that. So. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, usually I just put random thoughts into Twitter, and I have it connected to my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts apparently aren't longer than 140 characters. So. <laughs> yeah, now I want to learn. I'll be sure to do that. Oh, and then you... um, I also have... Oh, good. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say I also have my website, which is www.cmcvoiceover.com, and it has, like, you know, my demos and other things like that. See, that's the one I didn't find. I thought I was I thought I was talking to you well on the internet and I found you on A and N and all those other places, <laughs> but I didn't find your website. Gosh. Yeah. Kinda of <laughs> hidden. I'm gonna try to work on that. And is there anything that you're working on that you can talk to the fans about or are you all under NDA? Um, I have a couple of things on NDA. So they'll come out soon, hopefully. But I do have something that was announced at um, Anime Expo. If any of you guys went to the production IG panel, uh, I'm the main character in a new movie called Oblivion Island. And um, it's a really, really great movie. It's it's um, it's all CGI. And it's production IG is the makers of, like, um, Ghost to Michelle, and they're making new, the new um, Clamp series, Blood Sea. And they're, they're uh, fantastic company and they they're usually like all blood and gore and stuff but this movie is for kids and it's really cute and fun and it's i don't know i can't explain it i cried so hard when i watched it the first time and it's the best and I, i'm really glad i got to work on this movie so hopefully it's going to get a theatrical re- release so we're praying and if so then you guys can go watch me in theaters which will be exciting Ooh, that would be cool. Uh, when you said Oblivion yes. Island, all I could think of was Lost. I apparently was way off the mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. So it's a... Uh, oh, no, go ahead. If, if you can explain the plot better than, than I can after reading a short bio, I'm sure sure you'd do better. <laughs> oh, no, I was just saying, it's more like less like Lost, more like Island of Misfit Toys or something like that. It's, it's basically, uh, the moral of the story is don't neglect your things. So, my, yeah, my character, Haruka, her mom dies when she's really little at the beginning of the story, and she had this mirror that was given to her by her mom before she died. And then as she grew up, she just kind of forgot about it, and, you know, she's having problems with her dad, and she's just not a very happy teenager. So then, and then one day she just, you know, suddenly realizes that there's this part missing in her life, and she feels like it's her mom. So she tries to find this mirror, but she can't find it anywhere. So she goes to a well to go pray for it to come back. But she it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland. She falls into the well, into a world of, this is it's like a magical world where all the neglected things from the human world get taken and made into this grand city, and it's really awesome. That sounds really cool, since, and it's all in CG, so it's, uh, it's probably a wonder to look at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, hopefully yeah, we see you in, in, in that soon. I'm I'm excited now that you've told me about it, now that I know it's not yeah. exactly like Lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope everybody goes and watches it because it's, I mean, it's good for, I mean, it's a kid's movie, but it has a lot of adult themes and, like, everyone would, would enjoy it, I think. Yeah, and it probably has some uh, nostalgia factor. Mm-hmm. 
because it's about toys and whatnot. Um, yeah. <laughs> is there anything else that you can think of to promote, or everything's under NDA and we'll have to stalk you to, to figure out what it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only things I can talk about right now are Tayon and Oblivion Island. Sorry, guys. No, that's fine. That's fine at all. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to get you in trouble. That's always scary. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I'm. I'm happy that you're. You're getting more roles, and that uh, you're. You're. You get to be a main character in. And this new one. Yeah, me too. But I'm. I'm sort of uh, interested. Is there anything else that you want to say to the fans out there? Mm, well, I didn't. I know. Like last time I met all the fans, I didn't. They hadn't really heard me yet, so now that Volume 2 for k is out, so if you guys don't already have it, you should go buy it because it's really awesome. And, yeah, I, I hope you guys like my work. And this is, it makes me, makes me nervous this being my first time for my stuff coming out. So I just hope everyone enjoys it as much as I enjoy making it. Aw, that was cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most people say, nah, I can't think of anything, but that was, that was, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, I'm I'm curious, before we let you go, we have a tradition here on 91.8 The Fan, and we were wondering if oh. you'd like to participate. Sure, I love traditions. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't harm you, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we basically ask if you'd be willing to do a radio bump for us. Oh, sure. Like, what is it, like a, like a little promo thing? Yeah, like a like a little line that we asked you to say, and we usually do this live. So if you do make any mess ups, everybody does hear about it. Which is, <laughs> she's like, no, no, I don't no. want to do it anymore. I'm so glad we're not live. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, basically, we ask if you could say, "Hello, my name is." You insert your name. Uh, you can. Mm-hmm say characters that you do or just say I'm a voice actress or whatever you want to put there mm-hmm. and you're tuned into 91.8 the fan okay so I think whenever, I remember that all right so whenever you're ready <laughs> sorry for myself guys okay hi I'm Christine Cabanas I'm the voice of Azusa Nakano on Kayon and Haruka in Oblivion Island and you're tuned in to 91.8 the fan See, that wasn't so hard. You didn't need, even need good? a blooper take. Look at that. Yay! Awesome. You're, you're I'm a real so, pro. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you didn't okay. write it down either, did you? No, I didn't. I just had to memorize it. <laughs> Most people actually write it down, so I'm, I'm, and, and they still mess it up. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I practice a lot in the booth. You have to memorize it before we say it. So. And thank you so much for this. This was a lot of fun. I know, I love this. You guys are so awesome. This is a lot this is a lot of fun. And for anybody out there that missed any of this interview, don't fret, it'll be up on the website within the next few days. So keep it tuned to ninety one point eight the fan. Everything you want and nothing you don't. <laughs>